Hey, how you doing? We're going to be looking at the latest update to Elementor where you can now make WooCommerce products a bit more dynamically appearing on your site and get a little bit more out of them in how you present them. We're very much used to presenting them using the products widgets, aren't we? This is a test site, by the way, so don't sit there going, oh, ugly. No, this is just an example website. We're very much used to using like the products. Um, let me just click it. There we go. The products um, widgets where you add it in and you start to either show just one product or multiple products from categories or featured products or whatever on your page. What if you really want to highlight one product or two or whatever on a, a particular part of your page, but you don't want to use the products widget and you want to be really funky in how you present it? Because let's be honest, the products widget is a little bit limited, isn't it, in what you can show and what is the particular layout. Right. What if we want to add it to the top of our page near where we have the banner right over here? We want it to be underneath that headline. Let's have a go and do that using the latest update. I'm Imran Sadiq, by the way, Web Squadron. I hope you like and definitely subscribe and follow us so that you can keep up to date all of the amazing stuff about Elemental and WordPress to help you, your clients, and of course, your business and your next door neighbor if he's listening to your video right now. So. The latest update introduced dynamic tags and for some people they kind of either don't fully understand that or don't appreciate it. We're very much used to using dynamic tags when we're doing stuff like blog posts or um, you know you add in like a text box or something or an image you click the dynamic tag and you say I want this to be the blog image or the blog description or the blog title for instance or we use it for when we're assigning a pop-up we can now go a step further. So if I now drag in a image and I'm gonna drop the image to be underneath the headline, I'm just going to make it a full. I mean, I could pick a size here, but I'm just gonna go for full. I'm gonna pick this to just be a pixel size of 200. Okay, just to so you get an idea for what this is doing. Okay, I'm gonna now go to content. Now, rather than just picking a image, I'm actually gonna pick the, well, what did I do that? I just deleted it. I'm going to click the dynamic tags down here and I'm going to scroll down and I'm now going to pick product image. Okay, now at the minute, nothing's going to appear. Click the spanner or the wrench or whatever you use to pick, fix your bike pedals. You go down to product and you then type in part of the description. These are fake products. Please do not come onto this test site and purchase anything because you won't get anything from me. I'm just going to pick uh, elemental like so and I'm going to click update. So now we have the product image coming through for the, the product, okay? Let's just left align that like so. In fact, I need to, I'm just gonna add in an inner section. Don't overdo inner sections, right? Okay, Every, you know, we should all know this by, by rule of thumb now, don't overdo it, but I'm just gonna add one in for a test example. Right, so we've now got the product image. If I now go to text editor, Okay, this is one where you might need to just get your brain into gear. Bring over text editor. Let's go to style. Let's just give it a white font. And uh, again, look, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not spending loads of time on this. I'm just trying to get the point across over what it does. You know, weight 500, whatever. You brought over your text. Do not worry about the content of that text. You then click again, the dynamic tags. Normally when you do a post, this is where you start to pull over your post fields and stuff like that. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down until you get to WooCommerce. Product price. Look, the price will appear, well it won't appear, sorry. Uh, it won't appear because I haven't actually selected the product. So just go over and select your product. Uh, Woo. I should have picked Elementor. I'm not thinking straight, am I? But anyway, look, whatever product you pick is gonna bring over the price. You could also, if we get rid of that, go down and you might want to say, I want to bring over the short description, the title, stock, rating, price, whatever you want. Okay, I mean, let's just bring over. I don't think I put in a description for this item. If I didn't, I'm really sorry. Did I put in a description for this item? I can't actually recall. Yeah, look, there you go. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Anyway, um, so you can bring forward whatever field you want. And the beauty about this is, let me just duplicate it. Can you see what the potential is here? You've got your description, you've got your price, you've got your rating. 
You're in elemental, baby. You can do what you want. Position it however you want. You know, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it up here. I'm gonna stick the image back over to this side. I can do what I want with the layout. It, this is now putting power into your hands. I mean, you could have a headline with um an with like um a price box. Um, and why would you want to do that? You could say, well, I just need to put text editor in and change the price on the fly. Yeah. But then when you change the price in your products part of WooCommerce, it will feed it through to here. So if you're if you've got about 20 products and you're messing around with the prices, you don't want to have to keep going to your page, go text editor, modify the price or the description or the header, the title, whatever. You just do it in the products bit and it will come through onto whichever page you got. Can you see what we mean by dynamic now? This is this is really good stuff. And you don't have to have the description. You could have whatever you want on there, but also you could use the custom add to cart button from Woo. So if I take this and just drop this in over here, and we are now gonna put Woo for the product. What do I keep putting Woo for? It's elemental we want. Ugh. Right, there you go. Obviously style the button accordingly, because this is like looking really, really bad at the moment. Let's just put it in red. You now will have, depending on where you got this page, so you could have an image, you could have text, you could have whatever you want. You don't even have to use this. You could just put random bits of info. You could even have a video, which has got someone skateboarding, you know, over ramps, because you're selling skateboards. And then directly underneath, you've got add to cart. So now that button, when they click it, it's going to add to their cart, right? So this for me is just a wonderful way of using dynamic tags to start to place products wherever you want on your page. Shop page, of course, you're going to use the shop, you know, their templates, the archives, of course. But for your individual page, this is brilliant. It's just another great way of Elemental um, making... Um, well, bringing features back into Elemental so you don't have to go elsewhere. And I think it's only going to get better. I do believe there's going to be tons more coming out soon. But I hope this helps you to appreciate and use dynamic tags. So just remember, images, text editor, you go to text editor, you go to the content, you click the dynamic tag. Well, don't go to content. You go to text editor, go to dynamic tags, scroll down to WooCommerce and then pick what you want and you can mess around with your heart's content to how you want to present it. I hope that made sense. I hope you like, I hope you subscribe and I shall see you soon. <laughs>